In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload images to your Rails application using the Paperclip gem. All right, so for this demo, I've quickly scaffolded up a simple application with posts. So what we are going to do is add Paperclip to our post model. So for the first thing, let's go to rubygems.org and search for Paperclip. I already have it up right here. Um, from here, let's go to the under the link section, the home page, and click on the home page, and that will take you to the GitHub documentation. All right, so a few things. Image magic must be installed for Paperclip to work. Uh, image magic handles all of the uh, processing of the images. So to install that, you can use Homebrew by doing brew install image magic if you're on a Mac. Um, if you're not using Homebrew, I found this awesome little image magic installer from the fine people at Cactus Lab. Um, all you got to do is uh, download this and then run the installation of it. And then after that is done, all you need to do uh, is go to your terminal and type in which uh, convert. And if you get a printed out uh, location, so slash user slash local slash bin slash convert is where it's at on my machine. Um, if you find that uh, you get the same thing without any errors, then image magic is installed correctly. So after image magic is installed, let's go back to the documentation. Uh, what we need to do under the installation section of Paperclip on GitHub, uh, we need to install the Paperclip gem. So let's copy this and go to our Sublime. Let's open up the gem file. And at, down at the bottom, I'm just going to paste it in, gem Paperclip uh, version 4.2. Save that. Now let's go back to our terminal and run uh, bundle install. And this will run out and grab the uh, paperclip gem. Mine's, it's already installed on my system, but if you don't have it, it will fetch it for you and install that as well as all the dependencies. All right, so in addition to that, let's restart our server. So control C, hit the up arrow. All right, so that is good to go. Now, next thing, under the quick start section, what we need to do to get this working is add the has attached files and validates attachment content type to our post model or whatever model you are adding it to in your application. So I'm going to copy has attached file, go back to uh, Sublime, and I'm going to open up the post model. So in here, I'm going to paste that in. So in the example, it says uh, avatar. So they're adding an avatar to the user model. What we want to do is add an image to the post model. So I'm going to do image. And then for the styles, um, you have the option of uploading different sizes uh, to use within your views. So let's add a large, medium, and a thumbnail. So let's do uh, curly brackets. Let's do large. And let's do 600 by 600, and then comma, let's do a medium one, and we'll do the 300 by 300. And for the um, thumbnail, I'm going to do something different, and I'm going to do 150 by 150. And instead of using the greater than symbol, I'm going to use a hash. And what that will do is crop it exactly square at 150 pixels by 150 pixels. All right, so the next thing we want to do is add the validates attachment content type. So I'm going to copy that All right, and paste that in. Let's change avatar to image. And let's change this from the hash rocket. All right, so that is good to go. Save that. The next thing you need to do is add a migration. So you can do that manually if you want or you can use the migration generator, which we are going to do. So let's do Rails generate paperclip. And instead of user avatar, we are going to do post image. All right, so let's clear this. Let's do Rails generate paperclip. And instead of avatar, let's do post and image. Hit enter. And let's uh, check out that 
uh, migration file it created just to make sure everything looks good. So what this is doing is changing the table posts and it's adding an attachment of image. So that is exactly what we want to happen. So from here, let's do a, a rake db colon migrate to migrate that into our database. All right. And the next thing you want to do is add it to your form and then add it to your views. So let's add the form uh, file field, but let's also add the um, multi-part true. All right, so let's open up app views posts and the form uh, partial. So first let's uh, convert this, let's change post and let's do HTML and then it's a uh, multi-part true. So multi-part true. Right, and then let's copy the um, title field and let's change title to image. And then let's change the text field to file field. All right, so let's save that, go back to our demo application, refresh, all right, no errors. And if you go to post slash new, you get a, um, the file field is now showing up. So we could do uh, upload an image now, but it would not save. Um, and that is because inside of our controller, post controller, we have to um, permit the image attribute under the post params. So what we're gonna do is after content, let's just add comma colon image. So now that is good to go. Let's uh, refresh, test it out. So I went ahead and added a bunch of, uh, or a few images to my desktop for this demo. So I'm gonna upload one of those. Let's grab this guy. Kitten in a hoodie. And then I'll just say, hello, hello, and create post. All right, so we get taken to the post show page and no errors have come up, so that is fantastic. Um, but obviously the image is not showing up, so let's take care of that. Let's go to Sublime Text and under App Views Post, let's go to show.html.erb and let's add a image tag. Let's do um, Open Ruby and let's do at post.image.url and let's grab the medium image and then close out the Ruby tag. Save that. And if we go back and refresh, hmm, we get the file path. That's not what we want. Oh, duh. <laughs> so we need to actually make this an image tag. All right, so image tag. Now we're grabbing the file path and refresh. There we go. Um, and the cool thing about the different uh, styles, which you can uh, define your own if you want, if we change this to, in our show, if we change this to large, go back, refresh, it grabs the large uh, file version. If we change this to thumb, it grabs the thumbnail version. Awesome. So I'm gonna convert that back to medium. That is good to go. So next thing, uh, let's just add it to our index as well, and then we will be good to go. So let's find the index.html.erb, and inside of our loop, for each post, let's uh, make another TD, and then let's open up that. Let's do post.image.url, and let's grab the thumb for this version. And then close the Ruby tag, close the TD, save that. Now let's go back and refresh. Oh, did it again. Let's make this an image tag. There we go. All right, so obviously these images are not showing up because there's no image for that. So let's uh, edit that, choose a file, update. Now if we go back, it will show up, beautiful. Let's do the same for the first. Beautiful. All right, so that is all you need to do to upload images or add image uploading to your Rails application. Alrighty guys, that is all for today. If you wanna follow along for more, just uh, subscribe below 
or hit me up on Twitter. It's at McKinsey Child. All right, see you guys next time. Uh-huh.